Here's how to make a fish balloon. It's fairly complex with a lot of twists, so you're gonna need a lot of room for expansion in your balloon. So you're gonna need about three to four inches here. Let's get started. The nozzle end. This is actually gonna be the tail, so you're gonna do maybe two or three inches. Basic twist. Now make a smaller basic twist, about uh, an inch. Maybe an inch and a half. Now make a pinch twist. Remember to have to, you have to hold this uh, original twist here. Uh, that's just the way I've always done it. You can just let it go and then make the twist again uh, later. But you have several of the twists coming up. One more basic twist to match this one. Now you're going to make two small pinch twists to create the mouth. And now you have a fin and a mouth. Create another basic twist here to match this one. A pinch twist. And finally, one more basic twist here to match the one here. Twist it all together. Now at this point, you've actually created essentially a two-dimensional fish. Um, if you turn these pinch twists here, it kind of gives you a little bit of an angel fish kind of look uh, with the fins, the mouth here, and you can draw an eye here. Um, and then what you would do is just twist this one here to match here and then cut off and discard the rest. But let's just take this one step further. What you're going to do is you're going to create another basic twist here. And depending on the kind of fish you want to make, you can make this um, kind of equal in all directions. Or if you want more of an angel fish kind of thing, you'll create a taller basic twist here. It's rather up to you, but you can create kind of a pudgy little fish or a uh, more vertical oriented type of angel fish. So uh, why don't we just do that? So I'm going to make this basic twist longer than the one that's right here. Pinch twist. Now make this basic twist match here. Now you're going to wrap this into the mouth. You can see how you get a little more of a vertical look here. Basic twist here to match this one. Pinch twist. And finally, this locks into the back. Now you make a few adjustments here. I like to make the, you can see we have our angelfish looking thing. Now um, I like to turn these so that this way. So you can see how it creates the illusion of a fin. And then from the front, I think it's kind of nice to turn these so they're forward. And you have a little fish. I made one earlier. Uh, he went off uh, looking for some guy named Nemo. Go ahead and steal that. <laughs> anyway, either way, you have a fish. He can swim. And as I mentioned earlier, if you turn him sideways, turn the mouth, you can create a pudgier fish. So it's all up to you what you'd like to do. You draw eyes here and here. And uh, I think this is quite a crowd pleaser. Let's go to the next step. I'm going to help you create a fishing pole. Now, I have to admit the fishing pole is kind of an odd concept to me because um, essentially at this point you have a fish you can give the kids. It's live in their minds. It's an, a character or whatever it is. It's a fish. 
But if you make a fishing pole, it means that he's going to be dangling from a fishing pole. Assumingly, he's dead, but it's a crowd pleaser for whatever reason. So let's make that fishing pole and I'll show you how to attach a fish to it. We're ready to make the fishing pole. You need a, another balloon. I'm using a gray one here. You can use brown, uh, whatever you like. Yellow to suggest a fishing pole. Um, just happen to use gray. And maybe two inches from the end, inflated. You also need one more balloon. I happen to be using one of the clear balloons from the entertainer assortment. You can use white. Uh, this is going to represent the fishing line. You won't even blow this one up. Let me show you how to do this. If you like, you can make this more finished by making two pinch twists here or use one of those tulip uh, style uh, ends here. Not necessary. Uh, I just like to make, you can though, if you want to make it more finished, like you would at the beginning of a, of a more elaborate sword balloon. Now you're going to make a handle here, maybe five inches long. Just is where, this is kind of what you hold when you fish. Now it's kind of like making a monkey here. You're going to make a pinch twist. You're going to make a small basic twist, maybe an inch and a half. One more pinch twist. And now you're going to rotate this. One more pinch twist. And that's a fishing pole. Maybe it's a sword with a small hand guard, but that's the way I've always made a fishing pole. Now you're going to add the fishing line. You're going to make a small basic twist up here. Take your balloon that you're going to use for the fishing line and simply tie a simple knot. Now you're ready to add your fish. Fishing pole in hand with line, you're going to insert the line into the mouth and then just circle the line around the lips a couple times. And there you have a fish on a fishing pole. And believe me, you make one of these at a party and a whole bunch of kids will be running up and will be wanting these. So uh, make sure if you're at the party that uh, you have enough time to make these because they, they are somewhat elaborate. The fish itself takes a lot of, full, a lot of different twists. Uh, you've got to have three balloons to make this. But there you have it, a fish on a fishing pole.